Hey, what's up, fellas? It's just like 1 o'clock, 20th of uh, December. Uh, I'm going to show you. We have uh, a little bit of a storm coming in. It won't be snow or anything like that. It'll, it'll be rain. Um, I cannot tell you. I have already scraped the yard twice with the leaves. I got the pool semi-cleaned out about two days ago. Anyways, I'm just getting jacked up. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if you guys have, um, I, I used to coach MMA, um, mixed martial arts, boxing, Muay Thai, Kiditeri Kali, which is a Filipino martial art. Um, let me show you the front of the house. Well, when we come out here. Mm -hmm. Got the lights on, that kind of stuff. But I have to tell you something that um had a bunch of different you guys come out, and that's my neighbor. She's in. Uh, I mean, let me go back inside. Look at there's the uh, storm coming in over there. I don't want to see her. Uh, I don't want to have to deal with her ex-husband, her divorced husband. Telling me about how I'm trying to be her daddy or anything like that, though. Let me just fucking go and sit down. <clears throat> I, 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 I'm trying not to be happy about what I'm about to tell you, but I am a little happy about what I am about to tell you. And, um,. The gist of this video will be that um, um, modern women just aren't worth the effort. Um, how do I say this? My wife, and I do have a wife. I, I don't want you to think that I'm um, completely in the MGTOW. Uh, red pill community. Um, I'm not, but the my caveat to that is that I have a traditional woman. Um, my wife pays half of every bill that we have: car, house, water, electric, sewage, um, whatever we have. If we have an unexpected bill, she pays half of it. She doesn't complain. Um, anyway, so. All of that to say this. She cooks, she cleans, she can't even tell you. It's just, it's just, <laughs> anyways, all I will say, I'll, I'm, I'm going to say this. <clears throat> I will uh, make this the uh, gist of this video, and I will say that just modern one, you are just not worth the effort. Um, the average two-person household, that's a man and a woman with no kids, is less than $70,000 in Texas. I think the highest it is in, like, is in Washington State or where it's like um, $70,000, which is only $2,000 more. Dollars. I just can't even fucking tell you. Um, I make my money. My anyways, I don't want to tell you something, but we were about almost seven times that amount of money just coming in. That's not including our investments. Anyways, I'll, I'll, I know it's Wednesday, it's hump day and all that kind of stuff, but I just, these guys that came over, four of them came over, I just, Miguel, Mark, David, Stephen, and one, of course, there has to be a one. Uh, usually, there's always a Carlos in there, but uh, anyways. And they were very excited, and um, they all have jobs at either, they have uh, entry-level positions, and they're not trying to get a girl in their lives, and they're, they're finding out that they have m extra money to spend because they're not trying to date anybody or anybody. It's just I, 
I don't suggest that you as a man ever have a woman in your life until you're at least um, 33 to 35 in your life. And that's after you have figured out what you want to do and what you want to be. Uh, if you do that prior to that, you're just uh, spinning your wheels. Um, modern women do not respect anything about uh, what it's like to be a man. All they want to do is be provided for. And they want to be treated like a princess. And they don't want to do anything in return for you to be treating them like a princess. So um, it's a no-win situation. And that's why I gravitated to the Red Pill MGTOW community. Because the, the MGTOW guys are like, I'm not playing a rig game. I, I'm not going to do that. And, and you know, and on top of that, and they tell me all the time in the comments and the, when they email me and different stuff, what if she says I did something to her? I lose my job. I lose everything. Just because, man, I can't even forget that. Yeah. Uh, modern women are not worth our effort. And they think, hey, you know, I mean, if you just look at them, just look at them on Instagram or uh, YouTube or um, Facebook or any of those other kind of things, they have a mask on, a mask of just a camouflage mask of, of, of um, makeup. And then, it, then they have these eyebrows. Look, I don't pluck my eyebrows or anything else. But he was, I didn't draw them all with the Sharpie. Um, and my hairline goes back a little bit. But my hairline doesn't go back to here like some of you ladies and act like. Anyway. Or the, um, the, uh, I, the um, what do they call the, um, the thing? Eyelashes. The eyelashes that look like a, a caterpillar crawled up there and died. And then they have the uh, post in their nose over here, and then they have bull ring, and then they have like seven or eight rings up here, and they have tattoos all over their neck and all this kind of stuff. They have tattoos all over their arm. Uh, hopefully they're not here for me. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Wow. Well, anyways, that can't be nah, no. No, nah, it can't be for me. I'll, I'll let that be. And if it is, hey, I'll let you guys see it on live TV. I mean, live. Uh, anyways, all that to say this. Um, I have taken. Uh, and I have a, I have a very large amount of what's called Coca-Cola stock. Now that may not seem exciting or anything like that, but I've also had Exxon Mobil stock when it was just Exxon, and now it's Exxon Mobil, and I have a substantial amount of that stock. The stuff that I put out here online is about one fiftieth of what I've actually had, and I have. Um, I have some other stock. It doesn't matter. Um, I can take my wife, my beautiful wife. Um, is she a beauty queen? No. Um, does she make about... She make We make about the same amount of money. So we share everything 50-50. And that's good for her, and that's good for me. And she is a traditional woman, and I take care of her, and she takes care of me. But that is not normal. And I had to find that woman in Juarez, Mexico. Oh, that woman doesn't exist. Oh, sorry. I'm getting upset because of how many dates I went. I went on over 300 dates to find a woman Um from outside the United States, and this is before the passport pros and all that kind of shit started coming up. So, um, hmm. um, it's there is no upside 
to a good average man having a woman in his line, especially if she's in the United States. Um, she can absolutely, at a whim, destroy everything you've worked for and say that, even if it's not true, I can't even tell you, there's, she can destroy your life and you don't have any, rec you don't have any real recourse except for maybe uh, five years down the road after you've paid 10, 20, 30, $50,000 and you win a judgment against her and she doesn't have the money to pay. So you're just mad. It's all right. All that to say this, love you guys and make the community. Um, really, really, really respect you guys. Not going to say anything other than that. Um, and for the younger guys that came by today, I told them it's just not worth it to get into a relationship with any anyone for any reason because you have too much to lose as a man. Um, you're automatically guilty. You're automatically the bad guy. You're automatically the aggressor. You're automatically the uh, abuser. And it doesn't matter what you say or do. You're automatically going to lose and you're going to have to pay. So it's just not worth it. And then again, who we come back to? Who do we come back to? We come back to the men go their own way. And we come back to the red pill guys. We come back to them more like, yeah, you guys got to fuck them figured out. So that is a very 11, over 11 minute way to say, love you guys. Love the men go their own way. Love the red pill. Love the manosphere. Um, I have a little bit different take on that, and but that's the only reason I have a, my little bit of take on that is because I found a traditional woman outside the United States. Um, love you guys. I'm going to do what I can to help you. I'm not going to take anything from you, uh, but I cannot, I will not advise any man to get married for any reason even if you have a prenup and if you choose to get married no matter what. Um, I want you to get a prenuptial agreement that is videotapes with these following questions answered. Are you here of your own free will? Do you understand what we're going through? Do you understand the contract? My responsibilities and your responsibility. Do you understand that you are not under duress and that there is nothing preventing you from signing this of your own free will? I mean, just, just, and if that's what it takes to be in a relationship, why would you not, why would you ever want to be in one? So it is what it is. Love you guys. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. And if you can't, you have to take care of yourselves. I just, I don't want to belabor the subject, but every time I turn around, uh, MGTOW, Red Pill, Manosphere. Uh, okay, you guys win. Huh? I hadn't met the kind of wife I had, I'd, I'd be uh, what we call asked out. So love you guys. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. And if you can't, you have to take care of yourselves. We need you more than you need us. Like a fart in a G-string from West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.